Welcome. 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 Honored guests. And revered teachers. Oh, and Mrs. Sister. We are here today to tell you a story. And you are here to listen. It's a story that could take place anywhere at all. But to make it fun for you and the people who do the costumes, the lighting, the sound, etc. We have set our story in a land bursting with rhythm and colour. Yes, the vibrant mystical land of Mambika. Together we will travel over many mountains for seven turnings of the sky, from summer blue to starry black. There we will find this land of awesome wonders, where the river of a thousand songs splits the land in two. Have you been taking extra literacy lessons? of the river lived the Satungi tribe. On the west side lived the Wanakiki tribe. Yo ya five four fee wana wana wanakiki We like to live life at ease Sometimes we pretend to be trees. We lie about sunny. Let our minds do the running. We're fantastical. Wanna key keys. You may think it is just a deep and raging river and a slightly different approach to life that separate the, these two tribes. But oh no, there is so much more than that. No one knows where it all started. But we do know for many generations, these tribes have passed on lies about each other. Lies that have been spoken for so long, they have now seen true. Can you believe that from the moment they're born, each tribe member is taught to hate the other tribe? It's ridiculous. They seem so intelligent. How could they be so idiotic? Why can't they just learn from one another? It really makes me mad. I know what you mean. But to be fair, I think you've always seemed a bit mad. You are such weakling, you think what we're training is waiting around for something to happen. Yeah, weaklings. Well, looking at you, we can see where dumbbells get their name from. Hmm, where's that then? We want Kiki's are artists. Trust me, you can draw a conclusion. Trust you? I'd never trust you. One of Kiki's are lawyers and cheats. And uh, you're such scared cats, you jump even if you saw an exclamation mark. Uh, what's an exclamation mark? You said tongues are just big muscles and big heads. <laughs> <laughs> you're a small chicken, you could be a mac chicken sandwich. Who says so? My dad. My dad's bigger than your dad. Well, my mom's bigger than your dad. She's a bit scary, she could easily be a dinner lady. The Wanakikis and the Satungis hurled insults at each other as tall to see as some people throw down some tissue wrappers or banana skins. You know it's only one to end up into tears. They're like spiders, caught in a web of foolish ignorance, not realising that a word can often wound as deeply as a spear. In fact, such wounds sometimes fester for generations. And generations and you have definitely been taken extra literacy. It just beats me why the tribes can't find the balance. They need to remember that if you exercise your body and your mind, you can be just like me, brilliant and fit. And so modest. Just get on with it, will you? Each rising of the sun after the sixth sleep. Monday mornings. The tribes will gather for our full village assembly to share important news.
One of Kiki's good news. My wife is due to have our baby any time now. Way! This means that she will be out of action for a day or two. Sadly, the grass skirt skirt movement group will therefore be cancelled for this week. Aww. Anyone who would like to is welcome to join the still life drawing group instead. So, Drunkings, we finally have a winner in the Pudding Nut Tournament. Fecko! Yay! Ah! And has agreed to give us a demonstration. He's managed to get through. There's footing up supporters on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now! <laughs> Next item, food provision. Would one of the fishing net supervisors please organise at Ruta when they've got a minute to go and check if any fish have come in? Supplies are running, running surprisingly low. Oh, okay. I'll have a look later. Could be the bears are back in town. They're too lazy to catch their own food. They might have been taking ours. You'd better not go on your own. Their leaders are nasty piece of work. Annie volunteers to go with her. Satongi warriors, is the hunting party ready to go? Swift as an antelope, cunning as a tiger, silent as a slithering snake, we pounce. Whatever their differences, these people all live under the same sky and share the same scent from the same flowers. But do they realise that? Oh no, they'd rather be enemies. It beats me, it really does. Still, each day of the sun, which has no favourites, rises and warms the toes and the hearts of one Kiki and Satongi alike. <laughs> So the tribes fill the hours of the day in their own way, each failing to appreciate the other. They simply can't see that without variety everything would be well boring. Sorry, Mrs. Siobhan. Re really boring. If only they would look around at nature, so full of variety and change. A multicolored world with a fascinating assortment of shapes and places. Where would we be without the shifting patterns of nature if the sun chose not to bow down to the moon at night? You mean, if it was day all the time and we had no night, what would, how would the moms get their beauty sleep and dads practice their snoring? And if the weather never changed, what would we complain about? Right now, come on. Let's get going. Shoulders up and down. Keep it moving. Run on the spot and jump. Good. And jump. What do we want to be? Fit, fit, fit. Let's show them. And the Satongis come to one of his keys with displays of strength and athletic grace. Excellent. Now keep pumping. Meanwhile, the one Kiki's counter this with examples of literary genius. I wonder lonely in the cloud that floats on high or fills our trees. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of silly satangis. Magnificent! Now let's relax for a moment. Close your eyes and visualize. You are trees swarming in the breeze. Now, not a care in the world. You're bonkers, or should that be conkers? <laughs> Do you know? At least we've got some imagination. You're just on another planet. I wish you were, then we wouldn't have to see you every day. And so life goes on until one day, in the Satongi village, something very unusual happens. At last, this has got to be the place. Just look at the passion in that river, the magic in those mountains. We have come from over the mountains to find out about the people who live in this valley. Translator, can you translate please? 
They've come from over the mountain to find about the people in the valley. Oh. Can we camp here with you and see how you live? Can they camp here with you and see how you live? Tell them, of course, they are as joyfully received as the sun on a winter day. They will be honoured guests for as long as they wish to stay. They will be as precious to us as the first. Harvest, as welcome as a cool drink on a hot summer's day. He says, OK. This is so amazing. It's like going back in time. They're so unspoilt. This is what I've been waiting for my whole career. Oh, lovely to meet you. This is going to be a hit. People will love them. They're so quaint. It's going to be like a cross between I'm a celebrity and Big Brother. We finally hit on a biggie. I can see it now. My name will be up in lights. Not if I can't find a socket, I won't. Imagine it. Melissa Moore at live at five. Oh, look over there. Is that another tribe? Yoohoo! This is so good. Two tribes for price of one. How can we get to them? Over my dead body and slit throats of my tribe. He said it won't be easy. Nonsense. Where there's a will, there's a way, of course. We could arrange for a bridge to be built. Now it's a cross between I'm a celebrity, Big Brother and Bob the Builder. No bridge, you don't have to get involved with those Wanakikis. They're bad medicine. You don't want Wanakikis. They are of no interest, slow and weak. They don't even hunt. All they do is write poems and pretend to be trees. They're only suitable for TG Pan. Come and sit with us, our finest cook, Diego. We will serve up kilt antelope in your honour. And you should get the heart. He hoped you're not a vegetarian. Here, show our guest to the place of honour. He's so cute. Is he your son? Is this the next chief? Chief! No, sadly me and my wife, I cannot have children. He is the second son of my third sister. Nephew. Bless you. Let us demonstrate our superiority and excellence. When you have, have so strongy, you don't need the wimp, wimpy, wonky wanakikis. When you have the best, why settle for anything less? It's like when you've been to English school, nowhere else is good enough. <coughs>
Look here, BJ. Ain't this a camera? Sure, Bruno, and there's a microphone here, Mr. Brown. Let me see that, BJ. This could really be useful, Bruno. Really useful. Yeah, Mr. Brown. Uh, what for, Mr. Brown? Tell him, BJ. We can make our own version with, of Goldilocks where she doesn't get up so lightly. Hey, you. You out there, tell me who gave you permission to stare. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Our equipment's gone. Who could have taken it? That would be no good bunch of light frizzles grizzlies. Bears? Ah, bears! The snakes and crocodiles couldn't have carried it. The snakes and crocodiles couldn't have carried it. Ah, snakes and crocodiles! And the lions and tigers aren't interested <clears throat> in that sort of thing. He said he was only joking. Well, we'll have to send for more. Guys, we've got a problem. Do you have a telephone? I'm having trouble getting signal for my mobile. She's in a spot of bother and needs to get in touch with some big wigs. It's very urgent. We need to go first class. Right now, let's get on with visualizing plans for the bridge. If this bridge is built, it will mean a terrible war. Many of my people will die. Without the waters between us, there will be nothing to hold but back the hatred that we have for the Wanakikis and that they have for us. The chief's really not sure about the bridge. It's such a good nonsense. Idea. People love a happy ending. A award-winning reporter bridges the gap between the rival tribes. Hello, why aren't you listening? How arrogant, arrogant can you get? Did you see that? She's taking no notice of the chief at all. Hello. You know she can't hear you, you're only a narrator. Well, at least I'm not an interfering busybody. Shh, let him get on with the story. Spheres will praise many hearts, man, woman, or child. No one will be safe. We will be obliged to honour our ancestors and wipe every trace of them from the land. And they will be also come for us. They don't seem like they get on that well. We worry about it when we come to this. We're doing something fantastic here and they're going to love being a part of it all. You, you. Builders are here. Excellent. You see it all happening. Too late to turn back now. It's never too late to admit that you have made a build a better future for your families. We'll move you on a hundred years. Your ancient ways will disappear. A bridge across the river bringing unity. We'll help create a civilized community. We're gonna make it good and strong. Oh, look at the stuff I write. We can't get started now, Fred. I don't think so, Bert. Oh, sorry, Fred. Is it time for another tea break? It may have escaped your notice, son, but we are on this 
uh, side of the river and the gears on that side. Oh, we better rip in a bridge to go over and get it in. Good job, we builders, Herbert. I think we better have the tea break after all. Uh, let me have a word in your shell, like. Mom, if there's going to be a war, can I go and fight? Please, Mom, please. No, you can't, and it's no good grabbing at me like that. Go and play. It's an honor for a boy to fight for his tribe, even if it means death. But what if he's captured? Remember what the ancestry tales tells us about one kiki due to their enemies. Horrible things, and you don't even care if they're children. It's Fancy for leaving all that rubbish. I could knock their heads together. Quick, call the meeting of the council. Council meeting. We better go and sharpen some spears, ready for a fight. The only battle you're going to do is with a bar soap. Leave the fighting to the men. But the Tongans don't fight fair. They'll cheat and they think they're big and tough. But if they do anything to my dad, I'll break all their bones and... Off you go. There'll be time enough for all that once the bridge is finished. Look, look, how angry the river is. It's bad omen. Nothing's ever going to be the same. No, no there are hard times ahead, but I don't see how we can avoid a fight. We can't let the Satongis beat us. We know from the stories passed down to us that they even eat their own children. They're worse than animals. This is even making me mad now. For goodness sake, they're saying the same sort of things about you. They can't hear you, remember? You're only a narrator. Next time, hold, the, hold out for one of the good parts. May I continue? Yeah, go on. I want to find out what happens. And so, firmly trapped in this web of ancient lies, the tribes dwell in the shadowlands of fear. For some days, life goes on, suspicious looks darting across the river like sharp arrows. A cloud of doom descends over the camps and clings like a wet blanket. The tension is almost unbearable. Everybody listen, I have fantastic news. The Chief's baby has been born. The Chief's baby has been born. It's a boy. <laughs> Seven pounds and two ounces. Mother and baby doing fine. Send the news out on the drums. The birth of the royal baby was greeted with much celebration. He was cuddled and kissed and burped and hugged. He was adored by women who held him as they swayed and rocked to the age-old rhythm of motherhood, while children marveled at his perfect and fragile form. He's so cute. He's so smelly. The celebration is marred only by daily progress of the bridge and the imminent threat of the war and death. My beautiful baby, what kind of future will there be for you? Why did you have to be born at this time? Is there any way out of this? I can't see one yet, but we must keep hoping. Dude, can I have this back? It's only film repeats. This is a pretty pickle. I can't see how it can be sorted. Here, have one of these. We might need some protection. Thank you, but what you're forgetting is that Mambika is a mystical land whose very course is seeped in ancient wisdom, far beyond the reach of our human minds. Wow. This is a wisdom which can find a way where there seems to be no way, so simple and yet without a cost, as the chief finds out in his dream. In the ancient times, in the long before, please join the feet
All things can be restored, forgiven. For this to be, a child must be given. A firstborn son, from one chief to another. While this child lives, all shall live as brothers. When this child is given, the enemy, where once was war, now peace shall be. All must abide by this ancient plan, for its wisdom is written on the heart of the land. The Peace Child As the chief awakes next morning, the icy fingers of fear grip his heart. He knows what is being asked of him, but the weight that hangs around his soul makes the words too heavy to speak. For two more nights, he has the same dream. All must abide by this ancient plan, for its wisdom is written on the heart of the land. The peace child. Finally, the pantry grows so strong that the words shoot from his mouth, like arrows from a pot, pot bow, and pierce the heart of his wife. Our child must be the peace child. No! Send a message on the drums. Call the elders to a meeting quickly. Something incredible has happened. Tongues, put away your weapons. The chief of the Wanakikis is to give us his firstborn son as a peace child. We will love him as our own. There will be no war. Didn't I say it would end, all end in tears? The child is here. Welcome him. Let him take his place in your hearts. He brings peace. Let everyone who is willing come and lay hands on him as a sign of acceptance. First one, then another, and another. Come forward to touch this tiny baby who is to make such a huge difference to their lives. The Wanakiki chief and his wife could see that their pain was making a new beginning possible for so many. In their hearts, they let a tiny seed fall to the ground and die so that from it a harvest of peace might come. Hey! At least, if they're all going to be friends though, this baby's going to have a huge family. Think of all those birthday presents. So the plan is fulfilled. When this child is given to the enemy, where once was war, now peace shall be. And the bridge, which had become a symbol of fear, becomes a symbol of hope. Look, our equipment, quick, this is so amazing. You must get me on film. I'm going to wade in the river. It looks much calmer now. It'll be symbolic me as a bridge, fame and fortune. Here I come. I don't think you ought to do that. You don't know what's in there. Nonsense. This is my big moment. Let her go. Let her go. That's typical. That means she'll be another two hours in makeup. <clears throat> At least someone's getting a quick snap of her. Quick snap of her. That's very good. If she wanted to give her audience something they could get their tea into. She's done that now. And so our story is ended.
we can draw our journey to a close and head off into the sunset toward a hope-filled horizon and all because wisdom drew forth from her ancient well a startling solution to the age-old problem of blind hatred and fierce pride a loving father willing to give up his only son to save his people from sorrow and death. A peace child, amazing. Whoever would have thought of that? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you deliver will soon deliver you. For our world, we need to stop. Just stop. Stop for a moment before anybody says or does anything that may hurt anyone else. We need to be silent, just silent, silent for a moment before we forever lose the songs that grow in our hearts. We need to notice, just notice, notice for a moment before the future slips away into ashes and dust of humanity. Stop, Stop. be silent and notice, in so many ways we are the same, our differences are unique treasures. We have, we are, a mosaic of gifts to nurture, to offer, to accept. We need to be, just be, be for a moment, kind and gentle, innocent and trusting, like children and lambs, never judge or vengeful, like the judging and vengeful. And all that is differently, yet together. Before there is no earth, no life, no chance for peace. Let us pray.